Good morning, folks. Our book has been released. Please stay tuned at the end of the video for a description and how to get it. Case in point for why you should subscribe to our Twitter feed for solar and earthquake alerts. Yesterday afternoon, we posted that the watch level would be rising to high. Yesterday morning, you saw us jump from moderate to elevated, and nine hours after the news, we took it up another level to high. Multiple factors were a big thumbs up as I went to sleep for the night. Boom. A massive earthquake has just struck Afghanistan in the morning hours. High mountain ranges. The magnitude 7.7 .7 quake came in this morning, and so it's too soon to have any ideas about effects. And despite the high magnitude, it was 200 kilometers down, so that may mute some of the effects if we're lucky. There were a number of eruptions on our star yesterday, but none of them is going to be geo-effective. A CME without significant flare from the incoming sunspot up there. More coming in on the north. Gorgeous solar tornadoes dancing in a line. At the size of Earth, that's about four EF-10 tornadoes. Primary eruption threat is also filamentary, the thin dark lines writhing around here. Another release at the limb. Let's jump over to spaceweathernews.com and find that a C-class solar flare would stand out amidst the solar quiet. Sunspot situation has not changed and the only sizable umbral group is going to be departing soon. We've seen fluctuations in the solar wind at and just below the CME impact level seen the day before. And without stronger space weather, Earth's magnetic field is not significantly disrupted. In the United States, our top story is the Patricia remnants entering the southeast. The storms will continue until she leaves. Please take note and plan accordingly. Next, we jump to the North Atlantic, where a low-pressure cell is driving some stormy activity to the coastlines there, cresting further tonight. Down under, we see the low-pressure connecting countries, and the strongest storm line finds a home there, too. Folks, if you can imagine our short, no-nonsense morning news, where we pack about 15 to 20 minutes of normal reports into just these five-minute news videos each day, now imagine a 300-page book about everything in our realm, with the normal bullcrap and flowery nonsense removed, leaving the gems packed into only about 130 pages of concise delivery. Observing the Frontier, First edition discusses the community, the observers, the sun, magnetic reversal, forecasting quakes and flares, earth spots, star water, electric universe, the mobile observatory, Billy Elverton, and more. We've worked for months on this book, and after a brief delay, it is here. The book is only $25, and the buy link is below. It's at suspiciousobservers.org, Space Weather News, pretty much on all our sites. You can just click the picture. The most important note I have for you is that it's a digital download. A PDF will be coming to your email address, so you'll have to check your spam folder if you don't immediately see it after purchase. But this also means it's vital you put in the correct email address on our site. You can make up a name, you can make up an address. In fact, that's what I did, not a real street. But the email address you put in here is where the book will arrive. And when you get to the payments, you can use PayPal or choose the credit and debit card options down below for those who don't like PayPal. We haven't had that option in the past. Folks, I appreciate your support more than you know. We've got our current conditions and shots of our star to close. The earthquake watch technically continues, but we've likely released the largest amount of pressure we're going to see this round. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.